Capricorn, how's it going? This is your love reading for November 12th through the 19th. It is for love and it's general love, so it's not singles or couples, just love. Um, if it resonates, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check your other signs. If you don't know them, Google birth charts, super simple to find. Um, what else? Disregard my little boy hands. I cut off all my nails and it's driving me crazy. All right, what's up, Capricorn? Oh, nice. Uh, or not. <laughs> all right. So your overall energy is the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. It's one of my favorite cards. Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love. It's, you know, like an overflow of love, emotion, and aces are new beginnings and they're from the divine. So it's pretty powerful shit, guys. It's also water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If that means anything to you, it doesn't have to. Now your recent past is the Six of Cups, more water energy. The Six of Cups is, it's a soulmate card, but it's like a, a nostalgia card, right? It's past energy, past relationships, past soulmate connections. Um, now with it being reversed, it's you're not looking back at the past in a very good way. You're looking back at it like it sucked, right? <laughs> but that's in your past. In your past, you were looking at the past thinking that it sucked. Now you're present, you have the high priestess. So what are you not listening to? You're not listening to your intuition. You are out of balance as far as your inner world and your outer world. Um, you have to always listen to your intuition. Pay attention to it. Don't get so caught up being, you know, busy with daily life that you don't hear that voice inside you because you should always rely on that above everything else. All right. Now, for immediate future, you have the reverse five of pentacles. <coughs> and I just did Scorpio and they had this in their presence. So could be dealing with a Scorpio. Don't have to be. I mean, you do have a lot of water here. Anyway, Five of Pentacles Reverse is coming out of a period where you felt rejected, abandoned, um, maybe you guys broke up and one of you moved out, um, but you're coming out of that, all right? Coming out of a period of feeling really shitty. Now your outcome, you have the Tower Reverse, also Scorpio card. Um, Again, if you're dealing with one or you have Scorpio in your chart, you should go watch their reading, all right? Um, anyway, tower reversed. It, I mean, we know what the tower is, right? It's shocking. It's something you can't prepare for. It's upheaval. Um, it's completely knocking everything down so that it can be rebuilt on a stable foundation. Now, whether that's a rebuilding of the same relationship or a new one or just a completely different life, who knows? I don't know that. It could be either. Um, but whatever is going on is not working and it needed the universe to come in and knock it down because it was unstable, but you're resisting it. All right. That's it's reversed. So you're resisting. You can't resist the tower. It's going to come whether you want it to or not, because it's divine intervention. You can't control that. All you can do is go with it. Um, but if you're not, if you're resisting, it's going to make it way more difficult for you. And tower is already a difficult energy. So you don't want to make it any more difficult by resisting it and putting it off because you can't. You can prolong it, but you can't stop it and you can't prepare for it. So whatever's happening, go with it. You know, trust your intuition. You do have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning as your overall. So whatever's being knocked down here, it's all good. You're going to be fine. You have that new beginning. You just have to trust that it's coming enough to let this other shit go all right so let's clarify the ace of cups for you all right you need to go watch the scorpio reading i'm telling you guys king of pentacles this is you as well as taurus and virgo king of pentacles is a husband a father um, he's super stable, he's loyal, he's grounded. He really, he takes care of his shit, okay? Um, and to have that with the Ace of Cups is really amazing. And that's your energy, right? Your Pentacles energy, so that's you. Um, 
it seems like you want to offer your cup to someone. You have all this, you know, love to give someone and you're not using your intuition about it. So you should definitely do that. Let's clarify the Six of Cups reverse in your past. What is it that you were looking back on that had you feeling shitty? Okay. Queen of Swords. Possible past relationship with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you cut out some shit from the past because it sucked. Clarify the High Priestess for Capricorn. Oh boy. Okay. Two came out and I'm going to have to keep them. Show you why. All right. The tower reversed again. Guys, you have this twice in the same reading. This is fucking major. Um, and you're still resisting. It's still reversed. So but more Scorpio energy, guys. I'm telling you. Watch their fucking reading. Um, anyway. Uh, so you have the tower reversed in your present. You also have the tower reversed down here in your outcome. So what that tells me is it's still going on. It's going to keep going on until you let it happen. Um... And with the High Priestess Reverse, if you would just use your intuition and go with your gut, you would know that this tower has to fall. But you're not. You're, you know, I don't know what it is. If you're maybe stuck in the past, maybe. I'm not sure. But for some reason, you're not listening to your gut. You're not letting this tower fall. You're trying to hold on to something. You're trying to stop something. Um... Again, you have to just go with it. It's going to be a lot easier when you do. All right? And I'll show you why. <laughs> you have the full. This is a new beginning. This is an Aries card if you're dealing with an Aries. You don't have to be. Um... However, it's a new beginning. It's taking a leap of faith. It's jumping right in. It's taking a risk. It's not really looking towards the future thinking, oh, well, you know, what could happen if I do this, if I take this new path? What could go wrong? You're not thinking that way in the full energy. It's just jumping right in um, and whatever happens, happens. So to have the tower and then the full is really awesome. So something falls down when you let it because you're still resisting. Once you let this shit fall apart here that's not working, you have this brand new beginning. Let the shit fall and just jump right into whatever it is that you want to do because you're going to be successful. All right, clarify the Five of Pentacles reverse Capricorn in the future. Nine of Swords. All right, this is sleepless nights, it's stress, it's despair, it's anxiety, depression. Um, you know, you're kind of stuck in your bed, like hurt as shit. Um... So you have the Five of Pentacles reverse here. That's the coming out of a period of rejection. And you have the Nine of Swords. So it seems like you you have this tower moment, right? This new beginning. Um, but it's like stressing you the fuck out like crazy. Like you can't sleep at night. You don't know what the fuck you're supposed to do. Um, so let's clarify the tower. <laughs> down here in your outcome what is this all about guys ten of pentacles reverse this is a dysfunctional family um this is somebody leaving a home it is a breakup could be a marriage um or just could be moving out of a house where you lived with someone else um again you have that with the five of pentacles too um do I want to clarify anything before I get your advice? I feel like I should clarify the tower again. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get another clarifier for the tower up here in your present. Shit. All right, here we go. Five of Pentacles. It's the same one you have over here in your future, except it is reversed in your future. So present is five of pentacles upright that is the feeling rejected feeling left out in the cold um feeling abandoned it is it's poverty mentality so 
it seems to me there is a breakup and it seems like it has you feeling financially unstable like you can't do it by yourself um, but you can because your overall energy you are the king of pentacles he doesn't have financial issues at all um, so let's see let's check out this full clarify the full and what is this new beginning that you should be jumping into what or who does it have to do with Nine of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again. Um, Knight of Cups is, he's like Knight in Shining Armor type. That could be you or it could be the other person. It's someone offering their cup of love, um, right? Now, he is just a Knight, so it's new energy. It's not a Queen, King, any of that. It is new. Maybe temporary, might not. Either way, um, it is genuine. Now, you know, you have the Ace of Cups up here in your overall, right? So the Knight of Cups, he has this cup in his hand ready to offer it to someone. That is clarifying the full, your new beginning. It's taking a risk. It's, all right, you know, am I going to do this? Yes, you should. Offer this cup, all right? That's the risk that you're supposed to be taking. Leave this other shit behind because it's fucking dysfunctional. All right, let's clarify the... Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is actually insane. <laughs> All right, I was getting ready to say clarify the Nine of Swords and this flew out. You, right now, I'm serious, as soon as this is over, go watch the fucking Scorpio reading. It's unbelievable. All right, Queen of fucking Pentacles, guys. So, you are, there's going to be a period of time where you're going to feel rejected. You're going to feel abandoned. You're going to be stressed the fuck out. You're going to have anxiety over this new beginning because you're just jumping right in, right? It's scary as shit and it's going to stress you out. However, it's okay. You have the queen of pentacles, more earth energy. So this is you or this is exactly what I just showed Scorpio. No joke. You have the king and queen of fucking pentacles. When you have a couple show up like this of the same suit in a reading, that is genuine connection. It's soulmate, it's twin flame, it's divine union. It doesn't get any fucking better than this. This is husband and wife, okay? I'm dead ass serious. It does not get any better than this. With, I mean, unless you had the empress and the emperor, <laughs> maybe then. With the ace of cups, this is so amazing. I can't even handle it. I really can't. This is great. Um, and they had these cards. Scorpio had these cards in the same position. So definitely, definitely go watch that. If you have Scorpio in your chart, if you're dealing with one. Oh my goodness. Amazing, guys. So you have this tower that you're resisting, but why though? Why? Don't hold on to something so dysfunctional when you have something so fucking perfect coming. All right. I'm amazed. Let's get another clarifier for your overall for this King of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Hell yes, guys. The fucking Wheel of Fortune. All right. I just This just keeps getting better. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune, it is fate, it's destiny, this is meant to happen, it's being pushed by the universe, this is, all right, so the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, it's like good luck from the universe, right, extreme good luck from the universe, this is whatever's happening right now is exactly what's supposed to be happening, you're on the right path, you're moving forward, you have the universe behind you pushing for this connection, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's get another clarifier for your Tower and Ten of Pentacles and your outcome. Ace of fucking cups. Again, guys. Shit. Ace of cups in your overall. Ace of cups in your outcome. You just have to let this tower fall, get out of this dysfunctional shit, 
you have the Ace of Cups twice in the same reading. This is absolutely insane and amazing, and I can't say enough good things about it. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's get you some advice. Do you need any advice, really, guys? <laughs> I don't think you do. I think you need to just leave the dysfunctional shit. And you know it. You're just not listening to your intuition. I don't know why. Because you're scared, probably. But you got all this good shit coming. So just do it. Just do it. All right. As your advice cards, the Five of Cups reverse. This is crying over spilled milk. It's regret. It's remorse. You know, now that's upright. Okay. So regret, remorse, crying over spilled milk. You're looking at these three cups here that are all spilled over and you're like, oh, my life sucks, this is sad, look at all this shit that just spilled all over, but you're not seeing the two cups that are still standing, right? There's two cups still there. All you have to do is look at them. So this would be your two towers here. You're crying over the shit that's going down, but you're not seeing that there's still shit left there. There's still two cups, okay? You just have to look at them. That's why it's reversed. Come out of this. Come out of that sad energy like, I have nothing. Everything spilled the fuck out. Because you do. You have a lot coming for you. You also have the Empress. Yay. All right. She's the Queen of Queens. She has everything that she could possibly want. She's fertile. She's abundant. She's prosperous. She's grounded. She's loyal. She's committed. Every single thing that you could possibly want, she has, okay? This is a reminder to you. You have everything that you need. You don't have to stay stuck in this tower shit trying to resist because you're scared or whatever. Um, you have really amazing shit coming to you. So the sooner you let this tower happen, the sooner you're going to get to that place. All right, Capricorn, I loved this reading. Good luck and let me know how it goes.